What is the criminal justice system? The criminal justice system is a network of government and private agencies intended to manage, accuse, and convict criminals. The criminal justice system is comprised of multiple interrelated pillars consisting of academia, law enforcement, forensic services, and judiciary and corruption. What is the criminal justice of the Philippines? This system is composed of the law enforcement, prosecution, court corrections, and the mobilized community. It is also a network of government and private agencies intended to manage, accuse, and convict criminals. What is the five pillars? The five pillars of the criminal justice system in the Philippines. The CGS is envisioned as being supported by five pillars, namely law enforcement, prosecution, courts, corrections, and the community. What is law enforcement? The law enforcement pillar is also known as the prime mover of the CGS because it initiates the whole system through the arrest of an individual. Law enforcers deal directly with the liberty of a person because the conduct of arrest constitutes restraint and one's physical freedom. What is prosecution? It is the prosecution arm of the government. It is mandated to uphold the rule of the law. The National Prosecution Service is made up of the regional, provincial, and city prosecutors and state prosecutors. What is court? It is the forum where the prosecution is giving the opportunity to prove that there is a strong evidence of guilt against the accused. It is also the courts that the accused is giving his day to, prove, to disprove the accusations against him. What is correction? It takes over once the accused, after having been found guilty, is meted out the penalty for the crime he committed. What is community? The community. The community has an apparel role as the fifth pillar in the criminal justice system. In this connection, community is understood the mean as elements that are mobilized and energized to help the authorities in effectively addressing the law and order concern of the citizenry. What are the importance of CGS? The purpose of the criminal justice system should therefore not be just to arrest, persecute, and punish criminals. The system as a whole should have a greater purpose to prevent crime and to create a law-abiding society. The Philippine government also organized the established institution which serve to maintain peace and order. These institutions are responsible for preventing crimes, enforcement of the law, and apprehension and prosecute of those who violate the law. What are the existing problems of CGS? Many criminal justice systems around the world, especially in our country, Philippines, are overburdened with heavy caseloads and suffer from insufficient financial and human resources. This leads to various malfunctions of the justice system, including high levels of impunity, delays in the administration of justice, overuse of pretrial detention, often for lengthy periods, insufficient use of alternative sentencing options, overcrowded prisons that cannot fulfill their rehabilitative function and high rates of reoffending. Criminal justice systems often suffer from a compartmentalization and lack of integration of different components of the criminal justice chain, as well as a lack of coordination and collaboration with other sectors essential to ensuring integration, responses to crime and violence such as the health, education, and social welfare sectors. Currently, the criminal justice system also have three largest issues. We have the police retention and recruitment, lack of resource parity between prosecution and public defenders, and its public perception. Currently, police recruitment and retention is arguably the largest problem facing the criminal justice system. What are the solutions of those problems with CGS? 
Our criminal justice system must keep all communities safe, foster prevention and rehabilitation, and ensure fair and equal justice. But in too many places and in too many ways, our system is falling short of that mandate and with devastating consequences. The Philippines is saddled with an outdated, unfair and bloated criminal justice system that drains resources and disrupts communities. Clearly, a comprehensive host of initiatives is needed also such as increased public investment in our justice system, constant training, upscaling, and capacity building among the officers and workers of the courts, deployment of technology solutions wherever possible, and appropriate and reforms in criminal procedure. Education must be important because it can promote education and training for judges and court personnel, improving judicial ethics and accountability and strengthening court administration, efficiency and transparency when it can lead us to the successful working justice system. That's why we can solve the issue and problems inside of our justice system and have an effective criminal justice system so that we are capable of investigating and adjudicating criminal offenses effectively and impartially while ensuring that the rights of suspects and victims are protected. Rates of crimes and recidivism are commonly used metrics to evaluate the performance of the criminal justice system.